WNEM TV5 News Update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Piesco and here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Thursday marks the start of Black History Month and things are kicking off with the 23rd annual Black History Month brunch in Genesee County. Tickets are still on sale with a few seats left. The event honors those making a positive impact in the community. Judge Glenda Hatchett, the first African-American state court chief justice, will serve as keynote speaker this year. The event starts at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning at the Genesis Conference and Banquet Center in Grand Blanc. Tickets are $40 a person. You can get yours today just by heading to the hot link section of our website. With COVID-19 and the flu on the rise, this is a great time to update your vaccines. The Saginaw County Health Department's hosting a vaccine clinic at the Disability Network of Mid-Michigan. That's on Concentric Drive in Saginaw. Remember to bring a copy of your insurance card because those without may pay up to $53 for their shot. This event is open to the public and runs from 9 a.m. to noon tomorrow. Watch parties are already being set up across mid-Michigan as the Detroit Lions look to make history. Several places in Flint inviting you to watch the Lions' first NFC championship game. You can cheer them on at the Capitol Theater, Blackstone Smokehouse, or at Torch Barn Grill. In Bay City, get food and drink specials at H2O's Waterside Grill, plus more specials at G's Pizzeria in Bay City or Saginaw. Kickoff starts tonight at 6.30 on Fox. Now here's TV 5's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Lauren. In your hour by hour, we do have a few showers trying to move through our southern areas this morning. It's going to be light and it's going to be snowflakes mixed with some raindrops. And most of this activity is going to be centered in places like Genesee County, Lapeer County, Shiawassee County, maybe even into southern parts of Tuscola and Saginaw and Sandusky, or rather Sanilac. I don't expect a lot to, to fall from the sky here. We're going to be looking at some light precipitation. And if it does fall as snow, it won't stick as snow because those temperatures there, you can see Owasso, Flint, Lapeer, uh, Marlette up through Sandusky all at 35 right there, so plenty warm enough uh, for anything that falls to uh, instantly melt if it does fall as snowflakes. As you can see here, once we get into the afternoon, those dry northerly winds come down and they take those showers and they drive them out of mid-Michigan. So we should be looking at mostly dry conditions later into the day. Now, I do want to point out here, you can see the hour by hour trying to throw up a few of those showers in the tip of the thumb there, Huron County, maybe even parts of uh, Sanilac and uh, Tuscola counties. I do not think that we're going to be looking at a lot of activity here, but we might have a few more of those snowflakes that try to move through on the seven day forecast. We've got a mix uh, between uh, the, those middle and upper 30s, even a few lower 40s there at times, and we're going to maintain that likely through next weekend as well. The one thing that we do see is we're starting to see those temperatures just a couple of degrees below freezing just about every night here on that seven day forecast. So anytime that we've got melting snow and that water runs over the roadways and then at night we see those temperatures cool down to below freezing, even if it is only by a couple of degrees, we do have the chance to uh, freeze that. So we shouldn't have uh, treacherous roadways, but we might have a few slick spots as we start out some of these mornings here with these cooler temperatures. Other than that, by Tuesday, small chance for some mixed showers there. And then as we go through the end of the week and into next weekend, we've got drier weather settling in. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather and information.